My name is Nathan Meyer. I'm Megan Meyer, and our farm is Prairie Flavors Ranch. About six miles north of Priestville, Saskatchewan, it's right in the parkland region. We started farming in 2013. We purchased this land. We're a first generation farm. Our kids are involved with every aspect of the farm so that they take ownership in the farm and leave it better uh, for their generation and the generation after them. Our ranch is very uh, diverse. We have a little bit of everything. We don't do anything on a large scale. We have 50 sheep and lambs. We have 18 pigs this year, pastured pigs. We have a specialty license through the chicken board to do 4,000 broilers on the pasture. And we also have eggs. We do 100 turkeys. We joined the Alice Saskatchewan Assiniboine program this year doing enhanced grazing and also cover crop on our wheat this year. And uh, yeah, it's been a great experience, a positive relationship, and um, we're seeing some improvements already in our pastures with the grazing. We were excited to work with the ALICE program because it offered an incentive to do some of the practices that were gonna really improve biodiversity and just improve the health of our soil and the health of our livestock on our farm. It gives the soil a bit of an armor uh, because the cattle are trampling a lot of the grass and it almost acts as a mulch. And with that, then it, it protects it from drought, makes, it, uh, makes everything a lot more drought resistant. Really need to see somebody recognizing those, those efforts and to to have some, uh, some financial compensation for it. We're also involved with the cover crop program. We have 20 acres that we seed into wheat this spring, and we use that for our chicken feed for our broilers. And so we underseeded it with a blend of a bunch of things, including turnips and radishes and, uh, and some other legumes. After the 2021 drought, we saw our grass bounce back really fast. And so we learned that even with really extreme conditions, if you manage the grass properly, you'll see the grass return really fast. The good thing about using enhanced grazing is you can read when to move the cows, when the grass is growing slower or faster. And so you can adapt more quickly using those planned grazing principles. We like to work with nature as much as possible. We try not to work against it, and, and with that, uh, it just encourages biodiversity and a whole host of uh, other things that are beneficial to our, to our farm and to our family. If you want to be doing something that's gonna help the environment, the wildlife, that's so important, and Alice can help you do that.